Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my lemonade recipe. Stay tuned for more. Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Thursday, March 28th, 2019. Today's episode is gonna be extremely super duper short, okay? It's gonna, it's literally about lemonade and lemons and so on and so forth. All right, let me give you a quick synopsis of my day. I woke up today, woke up to some really shitty news, woke up to some stuff that um, I need to take care of ASAP or it's gonna be a lot of trouble for me. And um, subsequently, I've been dealing with that all day long. It's already late afternoon, close to 6 p.m. And I've not been able to work or do anything because I have been trying to take care of this emergency, okay? And uh, even though I've had this emergency today, and the last thing I wanted to do was make a video for you guys, for, for YouTube, for, for me, for whatever, um, I'm still doing it. And why am I doing this? Well, the reality is, is that life is always gonna be fucking giving you lemons. And if you don't master the art of uh, making lemonade, making uh, lemon slushy, making lemon meringue pie, making whatever the f, f you want to make out of this lemonade, these lemons that life gives you. If you don't learn how to master that, then life is going to be very sucky and difficult. Okay. Now, granted, you know life is difficult and crappy sometimes. Shit happens. You know, it's not all roses all the time. Again, I had a shitty day today, and I could have easily decided not to make a video. I could have easily decided to crawl into a ball and, and ball and cry myself to sleep or fucking hide in the closet or whatever. You know, there's a million things that I could have done, but you know, actually what I did do is that I broke down a little bit like a human. You know, we all have our moments and we all gotta be human. We all gotta be um, in touch with our emotions, you know, no matter what your sex is or who you are out there. And you gotta be able to learn how to navigate these choppy waters that we're all gonna encounter at some point. And um, sure, a lot of times, you know, um, one can do all these things on their own, but in my case, at this particular moment, there's only so much I could have done on my own. I honestly needed help from you guys and needed help from others. And um, some were there to help, some were there not to help and um, I'm not here to talk about the ones that were not here to help I'm talking about all you guys out there that have helped that has spent you know some part of your day yesterday helping me out with my problem with my special situation now I'm gonna just talk to you about my situation real quick it's not like a big thing um, I'll give you the quick version if you want a longer more extended version please feel free to reach out to me okay you already know how but, you know, long story short, about two years ago, I was driving cross country. I got pulled over in the wrong part of Texas. They arrested me for resisting arrest. Subsequently, after that, they tacked on a bunch of other um, charges. And because of that, my life has been a living hell for the last two years. And it started getting really bad, you know, um, like about right before I moved out here. And, and again, this is one of the reasons why I moved out here because it was the only, one of the only places I felt safe. Because even though everything was bullshit, it was all crap, and they admitted full guilt, and they admitted that I am not wrong with anything. I, they, they, the, the police department and everything, you know, were, were at the wrong, but yet I still have to pay for this. So with all that being said, and as I was think, trying to take care of this and, and everything was going on, it just kept getting worse and worse and they kept threatening my freedom to the point where if I wasn't complying exactly how they wanted or this or that or whatever they were always saying hey we're gonna put a warrant out for your arrest and um, that's it you're never gonna see the light of day no matter where you are we're gonna come get you so that's one of the reasons why I decided to do what I'm doing you know there's a lot of reasons why I'm out here but that's one of the main reasons because it was like bro this is beyond crazy ridiculous I cannot live under this kind of pressure under this kind of situation now you know, a lot of things happen in between the time I've been here dealing with that situation. I paid off even more money, dealt with even more stuff, and so on and so forth. And, it, it, you know, today, this morning, when I'm calling my bonds lady to just do my regular thing, I was informed that I need to pay 
sixteen hundred dollars like that like within a few weeks a couple you know like really short amount of time and i needed to come up with some other stipulations and if i didn't do that then they're going to put that warrant out for my arrest no matter what and so of course i was panicking i was going crazy as you guys know um, my financial situation is a little lacking at the moment and um that was a big you know punch to the gut but i went to the discord and i went to my community you guys out there and uh so, you know good majority of you guys you guys know who you are um you guys helped me out you guys really did help me out whether it was through moral support or you know through you know private you know uh, messaging and 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 you know helping me you know saying you know helping me out with the finance situation and just helping me out in in, in every way that i needed i had like 20 problems that arose yesterday and I had like 18 solutions to those problems. And all and all of them, you know, were coming from you guys. So, I mean, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. You know, there was a moment in time to, you know, where, where you know, I was, a lot of this was stuff was sinking in. I was getting help from you guys, whether it was moral support or just, you know, all this other kind of help. And I, I broke down a little bit, you know, like I started, you know, getting a little emotional because, um, you know, wow, man. You know what I mean? It made me feel like loved and welcome, and 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 uh, and, and 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 like I'm not alone, and that you guys are, are, you know, really really care about me, and so on and so forth. Like really care, you know, and like um, I, I care about you guys a lot. I really do, you know. But you know, it's very different when it's you know, brought back the other way around. I mean, you know, I'm a Virgo. I've, I was a chef. You know, I've always been giving. You know, I'm not really a. a taker or, or receiver or whatever i don't really know how that you know i'm not i'm not good at that and um and yesterday you know those are the humongous outpouring of love from a lot of you guys and it really helped me make you know i'm help things better yeah it help make ah, sorry help make things better you guys really did help me with my lemonade yesterday and i just want to give you guys all a big shout out and what today's episode really is all about is the fact that no matter how horrible things could be, how horrible things are, if something happened that was a, a really horrible or whatever it is, you know, it, it, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There's always a solution. There's always something, no matter what it is, even though we might not see it at that moment. And sometimes things can get overwhelming and things can get very difficult. And these are all natural things. But we can't give up what we're doing. We can't stop our lives because of it we can't let others dictate our lives so again right now if i would not have made today's video if i'm not making this video today they won and how that works is that i don't make a video today i'm not making one tomorrow i'm not making one the next day and before you know it it snowballs in the opposite direction okay because as you guys know i'm making content all the time but if one is not careful it could end up going the other way around. But I, I, I don't let it, you know what I mean? I don't let that happen. I, I've, I've come from a very hard life and I've dealt with a lot of hard situations. And to me, it's, it's more like I get punched in the gut. As soon as I get my breath, I'm punching back. And this is it. This is part of the punching back right now. Um, I'm, I'm literally creating this, you know, to let you guys out there know that they know everything that was happening to me yesterday, that everything is okay. For all of you guys that don't know what the hell happened to me, well, now you know. And for all of you guys out there that are probably dealing with a similar situation on your end, again, you're seeing someone dealing with a very difficult situation at the moment and continuing on no matter what. And you might be doing the same thing and you might feel like you're alone and misunderstood, but you're not. We're all in this together, okay? And that's what's the most important thing about everything that I'm doing with these videos and this channel and so on and so forth is the fact that I've realized that what I'm doing here is, is building a community. I'm just a storyteller. Sure, I make good, you know, I make good videos and film and I'm an artist and I'm all these other things, but you know, the reality is is like I I'm, I'm here to tell stories, you know, whether it's you know talking about the crypto space or where we're talking about Mexico or we're talking about, you know, one of the days when I was working in so and so kitchen and so and so did this or that or whatever it is, you know. I have a gift to talk to the camera, to not just talk to the camera, to talk to an audience and uh, and to relate and back and forth and and, and 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 help comfort or help whatever it is that I do. Everyone, every one of you guys out there, get something different from what I provide for you guys. Just like I get something different from not just you guys, but 
other people out there. You know, they have their own YouTube channel or a blog or whatever. We're, we're all in this together. We're all feeding off each other. We're all helping each other, whether, whether we know this or not. And um, seriously, guys, I mean, if you guys were here with me yesterday during the live stream, you guys knew because I had just gotten that news just a few minutes before I went live. And you guys could tell I was not in my right state of mind, but I continued forward and continued. And, and sure enough, you know, um, I, I, I started feeling better and the episode got better. Um, once I went offline, I, I got hit again in the gut by all this and I had to really, you know, start figuring out what I was going to do about solving this problem. And I just started getting bombarded by you guys with, you know, all kinds of uh, well wishes, with help, with, with, with everything. Everything, you know, one can possibly want and need. And, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm here where I am today where I'm at the end of the day and sure, I still got this problem lingering over my head that I need to like literally take care of immediately but it's so much different now because I feel at ease I feel um, like everything is gonna be okay and it's mainly because of most of you guys I mean sure I, I mean obviously I had a lot to do with it but it really a good majority of it the, a good instrumental part of this whole thing was you guys out there and you guys know who you are fuck I'm gonna I'm gonna mention a few names you know Jelena Marcus Opie, Spencer, Hugo, okay? And I know I'm missing a few of you guys out there. I know I am, okay? And I'm sorry, all right? Because, you know, this is still an ongoing thing, but you guys know who you guys are out there. I mean, seriously. The reason I really don't like bringing up names and shit like that when I talk about any of this stuff or anything ever is because of that. There's so many of you guys out there, so many in the community, so many, period, that, you know, I don't want to... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to want to be leaving any one of you guys out because no matter who it is and what you provide, you're all just as important. And it's all love. That's the main fucking thing here is that you guys are just showing me love. Just like I show you guys love all the time. But to me, I'm just, again, turning on this camera and feeding my own soul. And in turn, I feed your soul. But when all of a sudden I had like a situation happen to me and you guys came and helped lift me up, man, for reals, you know, like, <clears throat> it's humbling as fuck, I mean, for reals, you know, and, um, you know, I just want to say thank you, like, for reals, you know, beyond anything else, and um, I think I'm going to end this episode here, that's it, it's over, um, but I just want to let you guys know that no matter how hard things go, no matter how hard things get, and how bad things are at the moment the show must go on you have to continue marching forward whoever you are out there you have a responsibility not just to yourself but to everyone around you and in your circle and in your life and so on and so forth and it's the same thing with me if I didn't make an episode there's so many people that would be let down disappointed so on and so forth you know what I mean that's why I get up in the morning. That's why I was a chef for so long. Because it's, it's just that need that I have to help take care of others. Or to help help others or whatever it is. You know, that, that whole need. So it's the same thing that goes with that. You know, the reason I was more upset than anything else is because I felt for a millisecond, for a little time, that my ability to do what I do was going to be taken away. But then, again, you guys came to the rescue and quickly reminded me that no, that ability is not going to be taken away because you guys are not going to allow that to happen. And I mean, you know, again, it's like, fuck, man, how can I not want to wake up every morning and do this and make these episodes and, and do everything that I do? Whether it's walk around Mexico or talk about whatever the fuck it is I do. I mean, for reals. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave it because it's, a, it's about to get, you know. Guys, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much to my patrons, to everyone out there helping me with through all this. Um, in any, in, you know, whether it's financially or you know emotionally or whatever it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, that's it. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And um, if you're a little more curious as to more about my situation, I'm going to provide a link at the bottom to the GoFundMe because, yeah, I started one, you know, thanks to you guys that encouraged me to do so. I'm going to put a link at the bottom and uh, hopefully um, we can get this shit accomplished and uh, everything will be fine and we can celebrate and everything will be awesome. And that's it, guys. I fucking love you and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Thanks again.